10,000 children. That's how many under 18s come into contact with Ghana's legal system every year, either as victims, witnesses, or offenders. Children like Amma. When they arrest me, they don't, uh, I told them I'm 16 years, and they put me in their cells because they say my case, they can't leave me to go home. When I was there, they brought some people there, some prostitutes. You don't even sleep on a bed, you sleep on the ground. So I was at the police cells for three months, two weeks. The government admits that in rural areas in particular, child offenders are treated like adults. There simply isn't the money, resources or the properly trained staff to look after them properly. But it's hoped that a new government policy which focuses on children and justice will go some way to help that. Called Justice for Children, the policy gives clear instructions about how under 18s must be treated. It's the first document in Ghana's history that explicitly guards children's rights with regards to the police and justice sector. Children will not be sent to adult courts. Children will not be mixed with adult inmates. Children will be reformed through our system as children. They will be seen as children. The policy also looks at how minor offences could be treated by community justice groups like a village chief rather than a child being put through the formal police system. Nearly 90% of child offenders are boys between the ages of 16 and 18. The head of UNICEF in Ghana says they too are victims. They are themselves victims of a society and a system that has failed them. The family and community has failed them. The state institutions have failed them. And above all, we collectively continue to fail these children who are awaiting trial, sentencing, and support. Every day that passes is a day lost in helping a young individual back on a healthy, productive, non-offending path. The policy's primary objective is to develop ways to stop children offending in the first place. Funding's being channeled into projects that can intervene early in cases where a child is at risk. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.